Uh, thoughts on lifestyle, bro. The new Yeet, just style, aesthetic, whatever he's doing, dystopian, it is insane. I love it. I love it. I think that it's going to be like, so I think the difference between a lot of artists, especially ones that we listen to and like just the lame ass rappers who just be dropping and they might sell well, but realistically it's just cause they get on rap caviar or something like say Lil baby, like he drops maybe good music. He could drop some bangers, but I feel like what we like to listen to or what we buy into is the, the artists who create a world or create a, an experience, the rollout of the album, think eternal and take whole lot of red, all the speculation, all of like the, the aliens for eternal take the, the short trailer movie thing beforehand, whole lot of red. Like you feel like you're a vampire. When you listen to that, you find yourself waking up in the middle of the night, <coughs> like chewing up on your dog's neck and it's just bloody in your, in your sheets. Travis Scott with utopia and astral world. Like you get, you fly into a whole different world when you listen to that shit. A great chaos, although it might not be as strong as Cardi's and Uzi's, but he's just not as developed an artist yet. But with So Yeet, I feel like he's following this these footsteps where he dropped a bunch of he flooded the market with a whole bunch of uh, albums, songs. Like he's already up, he's solidified as an artist, but now <coughs> he is making his album like his version of eternal take or his version of a whole lot of red or astral world or think of any equivalent album to that where there's like a whole concept behind the project rather than just a compilation of songs or songs that like sound kind of the same because they're produced by similar people you know so that's why i like it a lot um i think like the second trailer was dropped a couple days ago we can watch it Three Life, a division of Lifestyle Corporation. It's often said that tomorrow is never promised, but now it is. With our new and improved ReLife program, you never have to worry about life expectancy again. We Bro, this is too real. Because they were wearing like VR goggles. Soon when Meta controls the world and we're all in virtual reality and using bitcoin and nfts to transact online to buy things or not even online it's gonna feel like real life <laughs> everybody's just gonna turn into a pile of brain soup in a dish in a pastry pastry dish we're just gonna be fat asses we're not even gonna wake up from virtual reality that's gonna become the new world and corporations are gonna world rule and the poor are going to get poor, the richer are going to get richer. This, this is the future, man. Ye speaking the truth. We say it's time to move on from life's normal, dull course and say hello to everlasting mortality. With the simple exchange of your identity and stored memories, you can live a... The simple exchange of your identity and stored memories, you can live forever. So they're basically selling your identity on the dark web and all your memories damn what could you even do with that but you i guess you get to live forever is that worth it loki i would want to live for life where making every day count simply doesn't matter that looked like nick avocado or whatever his name is like just a literal fucking bowling ball Opt in now and receive your first supply of lifestyle serum therapy. Make the right choice and stay with us forever. Man, that shit's creepy. Really creepy, but I like it. I like horror movies. I like actually my favorite genre of movies is horror dystopia or thriller dystopia. Like I just love the the speculation of the future and how it's going to get scary and like dark and everything. Now, I don't necessarily believe that's going to be true. Actually, it probably will. Like we're going to just going to be cities are going to become bigger and bigger and darker and dirtier and everything. And 
we're gonna go into virtual reality and people are gonna lose sight of what humanity and being an actual animal on this planet is like, but this project's crazy. It's gonna be crazy. I just wanna see who he gets as a producer because the last couple of projects has been like all Benny X, right? So I just, I would just hate for him to become stagnant where he's just only working with Benny X. And I do like Benny X, but if he does work with Benny X, just get some new sounds in there that doesn't sound like all the other shit that he was working on for the last year. You know what I mean?